All right, so here's my mobile lab. As you can see, I've got it to where I can tuck it in the corner over here. I've got like some bread racks, some steel bread racks, and it sort of rolls out. It's not too often I actually have to pull it out the way I have it designed. It is pretty self-sufficient. It kind of stays, but anytime I need to get to anything, it rolls out fairly easy. So you can see it's a standard 42U rack. I actually have this on a cheapo Harbor Freight furniture dolly, so I was going to put casters on there, but it was easy enough to just drill holes and then bolt this guy in. Moving up on my stack, I've got three Cisco 7206s with G1 procs, so I can emulate lots of good stuff with those things. Um, moving up the stack a little bit, you actually see I have like a 2509. It's an ancient router, but off those serial ports, I can actually emulate frame relay. Moving up, a triple stack 2621 XMs. I can do Call Manager Express or whatever off of those guys, especially they've also got uh, serial interfaces. Now you're looking at my Avacent Cyclades um, out of band management system. It's basically a console server. So I've got 48 ports and I can console those into the uh, Cisco, Cisco uh, routers, switches, even MicroTik gear, and I can get to those out of band. So you can get to them through this web interface. But what I really like is you can set it up so that I can say Telnet to port 7001 and it instantly connects me to port one or 7002 is port two. So when I'm doing labs, I'll just tell it to you know, five or six routers all at once. And I have it set up so that I don't need any authentication to get to these guys since it is just lab equipment. Super convenient. Next you're going to see is my core switch. It's kind of the hub of this lab. What it allows me to do is each router and each switch, every port that's actually being used, cables into this thing. So if I need to change port uh, one on router one to router six, I just change some VLANs. So I never actually have to recable anything. It makes it super convenient. I would highly recommend it. Here you see my stack of five switches before. Then up at the top, you've got my MicroTik kit. Um, below it, yeah, those switches are just for doing switching lab stuff. But up here is my MicroTik kit. So there's a bunch of different router boards, uh, out of band management on that dumb switch up in the top middle. All the rest of them cable into my core uh, switch. So easy peasy uh, moving on down this is actually a digital loggers power controller so eight ports I can individually power on all of these routers down here at the bottom it's also got this functionality where you can ping stuff so like in a, a wisp environment you can have it pinging radios and if they stop responding it can kind of reboot the ports but for me it's easy so I can just um, never write mem on the routers and I just recycle them or just shut them down, bring them back up, and it's back to my default config. You can see over here on the top right, I've got another one. This is for the switch stack up there, as well as the Microtex. It kind of turns all of them on at once. Um, so very easy to administer, uh, turn things on, turn things off remotely. Um, and I guess that's about it. It's a mobile lab, uh, really convenient, tucks away. I never really have to touch it anymore because I can just remotely change things, change VLANs so that uh, on that core switch so that routers connect to different things. Uh, I guess everybody's got some kind of a lab. Let me know uh, what you guys are using and what you think about mine. Thanks. Bye.